All right, man, let's talk about uh, Miles Bridges. I think the Hornets was eliminated in the play-in tournament yes, last uh, night. Not a fan of the play-in tournament. We're not in college. We're not in Little League. Man, 82 games to figure it out. I can see if somebody had the same record, and that's how you wanted to do a top. Uh, uh, that's how you wanted to do a, a, a tiebreaker. I'm fine with that, but you know, like I said, the NBA continues to shoot itself in the foot. I don't care nothing about a play in, let these guys rest and get ready for playoff runs. Like, they just keep getting amateurish and am- everything amateurish about it. They're closer to N1 than ever before in the NBA, but nonetheless, um, let's talk about a lot of people talking about they want. Miles Bridges, and you know that's what they want to see the Lions go after. I mean, the Pistons go after this offseason. They say that he can command at least 173 million. Maybe that number drop a little bit because last night apparently he threw his mouthpiece at a male fan, but it hit a kid. So he definitely gonna be suspended to start off next season. Um, but people gotta understand the fit. All right, with Miles Bridges and Sadiq Bay, right? Could you could you play Miles Bridges at the two in this league? I mean, you can play him at the two. You can say Kay Cunningham, Miles Bridges at the one or two, Sadiq Bay at the three. But the thing about it is the number one thing that the Detroit Lions definitely should be looking at is that defensive wise. Because you don't want to be the Charlotte Hornets. Charlotte Hornets got a lot of great individual offensive players, but defensively, who do they got? You know, Biz Matt Biombo at one point was supposed to be their rim defender, and that would have went a long way. They just a team that run, get up and down the court. Say what you want to say about some of them Phoenix Mike D'Antoni teams, right? Say say what you want to say about them. But they play deep. Like Joe Johnson and Sean Marion were great individual defenders, all right? They was great individual defenders, bro. When you look at the Charlotte Hornets, you pull up their roster, right? Who Who is, who is the, you know, Terry Rozier don't even play defense no more. You know, they got – uh. Um, so hold on. So I'm trying to pull up the, uh, you know, but you know, who was that? You know, you got here, there they go. They fighting over a toy. So when you look at their roster, you say, man, who, who is that? You know, who that great individual defender? And they got Kelly Oubre and, uh, Kelly Oubre and Terry Rozier was a really good, tough defender. When he was out there in uh, in, in Boston, you know what I'm saying? But in Montrose Herald, he ain't like no great defender. He like a real, 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 real tough, tough guy. You know what I'm saying? You know, but he ain't no great defender. He a willing defender. When you look at that team, they got Uber, who a great individual defender. You know, they got Terry Rose, who could be a good individual defender. But that, that's not enough because you look at their top five, P.J. Washington. Now, you know, he's talented, but like all these young guys, Mason Plumlee ain't no really good defender. He's a great passer, rebounder. LaMelo Ball, you know, it all going to start with LaMelo Ball being a better defender. You know what I'm saying? So, you look, you don't want to be them. You know, you don't want you don't want to be the Charlotte Hornets. No offense to them, talented team, but they don't play no defense. You know, and they got the athleticism to be a good, great defensive team. But do they have a willingness to go out there and be a really good defensive team? But they say Miles Bridges expected to command a maximum salary of a total of five years, $73 million, right? So, like I said before, I mean, at the end of the day, they're not utilizing uh, – they're not utilizing uh, – they're not utilizing City Bay to, his, to his, 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 his maximum capabilities, you know? So, I mean, you got to look at that for a minute. He he being allowed to stay in that corner, right? He being allowed to stay in that corner and just spot up, and he he didn't shoot the ball well this season. So that's around $34.5 million a year, $35 million a year that you'll be paying him. You know, and they saying that Zach Levine can damn near command the Supermax or whatever. We couldn't get the Supermax from us, but unless he did a sign and trade. So at the end of the day, you know, is, is he really worth uh, that amount of money? You know, and then if that's the case, then, you know, once again, once you look at a guy like 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 uh, Miles Bridges, you know, well, then don't they like eliminate, you know, like uh, Paulo Barracho? Don't they eliminate, you know, really, it really would have boiled down to it boiled down to three players in that top four. It will boil down to Jabari Smith, which we're going to talk about that tonight. I'm going to go a lot of nice. going to boil down to Jabari Smith. You're going to boil down to Shad Holmgren and Jay Knight. And one thing about him, he don't he's not a premier defender yet. He come from a team who don't defend. 
numbers are great. But then again, he don't give you the best shooting either. So what you get is, a, is another score. Good rebounder. But what you're getting is another score. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, obviously, if you're not going to utilize Sadiq Bay the right way, you know, you know, he from Charlotte, you, you know, get a deal, flip him, bring in Miles Bridges, put Miles at the 3K at the one, you know what I'm saying? Probably move on from Jeremy Grant. Hopefully, you get something for Jeremy Grant. So, we say Bridges, K Cunningham is the cornerstone. We probably going to go Smith or Chad Holmgren. If we lucky in the middle, or maybe we say Jay Ivey, so we go Ivy, K, Miles Bridges. And the dangerous thing about them, about playing them three together, is preaching defense more, almost more than them gelling together, preaching defense, defending, defending, defending. But like I said before, I think Sadiq Bay can put up these type of numbers with an opportunity. I really do. You know, and then you you can add, you know, then you know, without bringing Bridges, then you can add a Paolo Baracho. You know, but like I said before, I wouldn't mind it. But you're going out there to pay him $35 million when you keep Sadiq Bay and just give him the opportunity that Miles Bridges got in Charlotte and call some plays for him. Call him, catch and shoot screens, you know, let him go isolation and attack the rim. That's my thing about it, bro. So, like I said before, you add Miles Bridges and, you know, let's say you just add Bridges with Sadiq Bay and people somewhere out there saying, well, you can play them both together. You can put Bridges in the backcourt. Or you could play him at the four and the, the four and the, and the four and the three, right? But the thing about it is, they just seem not to have that height and maybe that length, or like really the height that Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant six nine. He's the prototypical four today. Him and Tobias Harris are the prototypical four. You talking about six six two twenty five athletic? You really playing small ball, you know? And then also you you lacking the defense. That's what people are not looking about about the Pistons, man. You're going to put all this talent together with Paolo or Bridges and Cade and Bay and Ivy and all of that. They neither one, none of them are great individual defenders. You know, so that's when you come in. Now, like the Pelicans might make the playoffs. Now, could you end up with Mark Williams still getting in there and getting Mark? We would have to hope so, you know, or would you like to spend money on Bo, I mean, uh, uh, Mo Bamba or, or, or Mitchell Robinson? You know, you know, you never know because Marvin Bagley playing the five, Olenek playing the five, Stewart playing the five. It's like a turnstile. Everybody just getting in there and going through them. So you talking about like, like right now where they at and the move that the Pistons are making. The number one vital thing about it is individual defenders and shooters. You know, you need those guys. You need Tayshawn. You need Ben. You know what I'm saying? And, and the other guys have to be willing to buy in a playing team defense. And right now, they don't, other than Killian Hayes, that's it. Don't nobody else take pride of playing defense until down the stretch. So, you know, you talking about just, you know, you got a blank canvas right now. You got K, you got Bay. Them your two right there. All right? You got a blank can. Them the two you're going to be with. You know? And you say, well, you know, what is the best fit going forward in this draft? And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it. You know, if you can get Jabari Smith to play on the block, if you can get him to play with his ass to the basket and use them good post-up moves and get him to play elbow to elbow, block to block, and you need him to pick and pop and play like she, you just need to get him to post up. But the problem issue people have that he don't have the heart of a piston. He don't have that motor. He don't have that bad boy in him. You know, but the thing about him is if you can get him to play on that block, you know, post up, cool. But like I said before, just from an ideal fit, it's either Park or Smith and, and Shad Holmgren and trying to get you Mark Williams in the draft, right? Then you could turn around and say, who else out there? I mean, at that point, you know, will you entertain moving Bay for Miles Bridges possibly? Because now you got a, a potential front line that can get out there and defend the rim and get out there and they athletic and they can defend the perimeter. Sorry for Mason. They can the rim, they improve, they can defend the perimeter. Right? So that's kind of what you would kind of be looking at. You know, and then you you would we would like to see Killian Hayes work out in the backcourt because that'd get K somebody that could defend the 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 really good point guards or really good guards in the backcourt. 
So that's kind of like where they're going. And you say, okay, what if they, you know, couldn't get Shaq or, or Smith? I mean, whew. you know, you said, well, what if I, they couldn't get uh, excuse me, Chad or Smith? And they're arguing over a toy for no reason. What if they couldn't get them guys? And my thing is, uh, then at that point, you had best available talent. You, you know, Apollo and Miles Bridges, Apollo and S Sadiq Bay, just to me, who you going to get out there that's going to get out there and guard those tough perimeter players? That's the issue with me, bro. And at that point, you know, you probably just thinking, like, I just probably going to take a, a flyer or like Shade of Sharp <laughs> at that point. I might just need to take a, a flyer out on him, man. But Jalen Durham, Mark Williams, man, them some guys that need to be trying to get back in that top 10 and get them as well, too. But but Miles Bridges, you see, like, you know, you get Mo Bamba, you know, you get Mitchell. I would say Mo Bamba more than anything. DeAndre A too old. I mean, he's too slow. He don't play no defense. Well, I'd rather take a fly on Mo Bamba, who's long, athletic, talk to him about his work ethic, talk to him about what I want from him. If I'm let's alternative to this, right? Let's say somehow you flip Jeremy Grant to Charlotte or whatever, and then let's say you, I don't know what happened. Let's say you move Jeremy Grant in Bay. You know, and somehow you get back in the top 10 or top 15 with a pick, right? So right now you got K Cunningham. That's who that's the only guy that's immovable in our starting lineup. Let's say you acquire Miles Bridges somehow. You get him, you pay him, you put him at the three, right? And you still got your you still got the top pick, whatever pick you're gonna end up getting, right? All right. So my strategy would be, all right, Parker, I mean Smith, I'll keep on this man, Parker Smith or Shad Holmgren. I like the versatility. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not going to let bad one experience with Smith. Maybe what I want, Chad Holmgren. I push Chad at the four, right? Turn around. Hopefully, I get back in there. I get Jalen Durham. I get Mark Williams. I put him at the five. I bring back Bagley and Kelly Olenek to help facilitate him, help him, you know, get comfortable. Stewart, help him get comfortable in his position, right? Right? So, then and there, you got Bridges, William, Shaq, your future front lineup. You got Kay Cunningham, Right? And free agency, you got some, you got some options at guard. You know, hold on. You know, you got some, you got some options at at, at guard and free agency. When you're talking about guys like uh, um, Zach Levine, you know, you really want to pay him that amount, thirty-five million dollars, two max guys. I don't see that happening. Um, so you got guys. So hold on. I can do this. Man, Mason crazy. Um, Gary Harris, maybe Jerry Coker, maybe you believe in him, but Colin Sexton, you know what I'm saying? And also you need shooting. So also you need that type, you need that shooting. So um I don't know, man, to be honest. I, I mean, finding a guard to go in the backcourt, hopefully for Anthony Simmons get free, or you can trade for somebody, maybe Gary Payton in the second him and uh now, but shoot, but then you know, once you get those two guys, then you probably looking for shooting, you probably talking about Duncan Robinson. In an alternative world, then you say, okay, what else, you know, fit? Can I see what Miles Bridges going or around Bridges and, and K? You know, you let's say you move whatever for for Bridges. Whatever. Let's say you move Jeremy Grant, you got Bridges and you move Bay, you get Bay up out of there. You say Bridges, I say I end up with Jay and Ivy instead, or, you know, let's say, because I, I just don't see Paulo Branch on fin. I said I finished with Jay and Ivy. So I say I take Jay and Ivy. I got K in the backcourt, right? And I probably could say, you know, if I can't get back in that first round and get Mark Williams or Jalen Durham, right? So then I go talk to Mo Bamba, I talk to Mitchell Robinson, try to plug them in at the five, right? And then at the four, I just had to figure, I just had to figure it out. So I just had to figure, move some things around and find me a four out there. And you know, as far as uh, you know, forwards, forwards go, I mean. Are you see a TJ Warren out there? I mean, not much. Kyle Anderson, you know, uh, PJ Tucker. So not much out there. So I don't know, man. They, they got some uh, thinking to do with some strategies. But my second strategy would probably be like, I don't know, you know, find somebody to play at the four and just roll with them. But more than likely, bro, you don't really want to fill up a max spot right now. I mean, you could, you know. You could. I mean, I don't, definitely don't see, you know, you definitely could, you know, pay this man what he desired, he owed, and then, you know, figure it out down the road. But at this point, me personally, I try to trade Jeremy Grant, get back in the top 10, 15. I try to end up with Durham. I try to end up with Durham or Mark Williams at the top of the draft. I end up with Shadow Jabari Parker. I build that life. I build that future backcourt. I got Cade, 
who can go three, who can go four. And I just figure out plugging in a guard next to K next season or a free agency or plugging a forward next to him in free agency or next year. So like I said before, that kind of just be my strategy. But I'm probably not playing bridges that amount of money. I'm probably OK on that. Yeah, that's 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 a lot of money, even though the cap fluctuate. But I'm probably good on it. But I wouldn't be against it either. So, yeah, let me know what your girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe channel, and the subscribe button, the bell icon button. You know, notification, increase chance, you notification. We go live and drop the video. Check out Detroit Pistons Talk playlist for more videos like this. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, sponsor, video requests, all my social media links, description. Twitter's the fastest way to Facebook and Instagram. I'm finding support for the channel. Cash out dollar sign CJ Good 313 Venmo CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love and support. One time for one time. Uh, Mercy Sports Talk. Don't forget to check my main channel while we're on YouTube. Good for the TV for more sports, music, news, entertainment. One time for one time. Peace.